I would start. like to invite uh, the first researcher, Supriya Bhusle and Professor Amarnath Chadchankar, sir. The topic is a review paper on intelligent health prediction system using data mining. Okay, uh, myself, uh, Amarnath Chadchankar, uh, and my colleague, that is Supriya Bhusle, are going to present a paper presentation on intelligent health prediction system uh, using data mining. Hmm? We are going to present this paper uh, in a third international conference on advances in engineering and technology and business management hmm? in 2022. Presentation, the outlines are, that is the first, that is the introduction, motivation, literature survey, system models, system architecture, conclusion, and the finally, that is references. The first one, that is uh, nothing but that is an introduction. We have already known the medical field is so fast. Hmm? And for that purpose, we required a huge amount of data. Based on data, we are going to uh, uh, present some papers. Uh, and also, we have studied some papers. Uh, the first, that is uh, medical surrounding is still data rich, but uh, awareness weak means uh, there are a lot of scope where engineering field as well as medical field, we are going to create a new concept based on where we are going to present this paper. Hmm? There is a means of data like within the medical methods, data like as a medical methods, what we can do in the medical field by using the engineering field. Hmm? However, there is a st uh, storage of powerful analysis to identify unknown associations and trend in the data. Nowadays, the health is main concern for each person. Due to this uh, situation, due to this, uh, if we say that is uh, climate changes as well as environment, uh, we need some information that is data. Hmm? Next, uh, there is a very less solution. So uh, for that, improved solution should be established. This system cases the disease of the patient by the sign provided by the patient and also deliver the present uh, prescription confirmed by the doctor himself. The system is fit to be a various symptoms and disease link the person's system. That is, uh, the system agrees users to share their symptoms and issues with the doctors. Hmm? There are uh, systems like uh, the, uh, which are the applied, but most of the same just trace a reference to the doctors, which are linked to the specific disease. And all of them focus on the main disease like heart, kidney, stomach. These are the some examples. Uh, future system overcome the problems of other existing system, as in the system offers prescription confirmed by the doctor and it is mostly concerned on the uh, basics this is like the omitting fever dengue malaria and this kind of disease this kind of symptoms we are going to store in the databases based on the database we are going to find out what will we uh, we are going to perform the particular operation hmm? the future system like is a better as in the system has a doctor model which uh, confirms the prescription the proposed system includes the prescription system, prediction system, where the patient can get various doctors for their health issue. In the medical area, disease usually have very high threat, and to avoid that, result should be very precise and confirmation from the doctor. And the basic that is a motivation is nothing but that is a climate change, uh, environment change. We are going to store all the information regarding disease, regarding the uh, problem which is occurred with the human body. Hmm? It might have the uh, perhaps happen so many times that you or someone uh, you were need the doctor helps immediately, but they are not available due to some reason. There are different types of reasons. The health prescription uh, prediction system is the end user support and out, uh, online consultant project. Here, we propose a system that allows users to get in such guidance on their health issues through an intelligence healthcare system. Based on this uh, health prediction system, we are going to create a, some uh, application. Whenever we are going to put some decisions, based on that decision, it will uh, send some information to that particular person. And that is nothing but the medical or a different field. The system is to fed with the various uh, various uh, symptoms and the disease that is we can see that that is illness associated with the those system. The system allows users to share their system and issues. Uh, it then processes user system to check their uh, check for various illness 
that would be associated with it. Hmm? The motivation that is continued. Here uh, we use some intelligence data mining techniques to guess the most accurate illness that could be associated with the patient's system. If the system is not able to provide suitable result, it informs the user about the type of disease or disorder. It feels user system are associated with it. If user symptoms do not exactly match any disease in the database, it shows the disease user could be probably have judging by his or her symptoms. It also consists of doctor's address, contact along with the feedback and administrator dashboard for the system operation. Uh, based on that medical field, we have searched some papers. These are the literature survey. The first uh, title is that is uh, Smart Health Prediction System Using Data Mining. Uh, in this case, the idea of extraction is that is extracting user interface and design. In that, we are going to connect database and designing system that is a design used to make positive decision by analyzing vast amount of data classification algorithm and features. Selection methods are used to predict the disease. Here we have uh, that particular all the information which is related to medical, which is related to illness, which is related to the symptom, all the informations are stored. The second paper is that is smart healthcare system using data mining in that making successful decisions that will be increase success of healthcare organization and health of patients predict future demand need desire which improve conditions of patient and make correct the optional optimal result the third paper is that is a prediction of human health using machine learning and big data in this handling input as well as validating data with the help of prediction algorithm defines which defines the use of back propagation algorithm to reach the error in proposed system the next paper is that is predictive analysis in healthcare using machine learning tools and techniques in this uh, the different algorithm represent the data diagrammatically for well understanding include study of high dimensional data clarifies predictive algorithm and how to use that the next paper is that is study and analysis of data mining of healthcare. In this, handling the data to provide the improved quality information which contributes in order to take a decision and finding useful data and hidden patterns. Next paper is that is machine learning method for disease prediction with the claims data. Uh, in this, consuming different types of methods and algorithms for data representation. Based on, we are going to present the data in the graphical manner. A method, a model that entirely uh, describes the sequential and temporal relation in the data. Next paper is that is diabetics disease prediction using machine learning on big data of healthcare. In this case, the creating test as well as training database, which will help to deliver better output with more accurate results for classifications are used based on the machine learning algorithm, which are new bias, simple card, support vector machine, random forest, which have been used for the ex uh, experimentation on a VECA tool to predict the uh, diabetics disease. The next concept uh, will uh, uh, hand over to the uh, Supriya Madam. Next point system model. Uh, this system uh, will be actually divided into the three models admin, patient, and doctor. So, the first one is a patient uh, registration. So, it is required if the patient is a new user, if you are considering it is a new user. So, uh, first he or she will enter his personal detail for registration and then will get uh, the user ID and password. And through that user ID password, uh, he or she can able to log in to the system. If the user is already attached with that particular system so uh, he or she can directly use a user id and password right and log into the system the next one is a disease prediction here so uh, 
here uh, we have to focus the patient will specify the symptom cause uh, due to his or her illness right so the system will ask some certain types of questions uh, regarding uh, the illness and the system is automatically uh, predict the disease based on the symptoms specified by the patient and uh, system will uh, suggest the doctor based on the disease the next one is a search doctor so search doctor uh, here the patient is allowed to search for the specific doctor by the name address and the type the next one is a feedback and the feedback is obviously related with uh, the doctor so patient will give the feedback uh, of doc doctor and this will be reported to the admin automatically the next one is a doctor login. So in doctor login uh, is same like uh, the patient registration or the doctor registration. If the doctor is new, obviously uh, first uh, he or she will enter his personal detail for registration and then login uh, to the system by using a user ID and the password. The next one is a patient details here. So patient detail is nothing but the doctor can view the patient personal details here. Uh, and uh, the information related to the medical history. The next one is the admin login. The admin login is basically uh, uh, we are using here admin login to the system using the uh, user ID and the password. The next one is the add and view the doctor. So the system allows you to admin can add a disease details here along with the symptoms and the type and view the various detailed details which is stored already in the database right the next one is add view the doctor here the admin can add a new doctor details here okay so as per the registration of doctors so uh, that is approved by the admin so admin can easily add a new doctor in database with their details and view the various doctor along with their personal detail which is already stored uh, in database. The next one is uh, add and view the patients. So here the admin is allowed to add and view the various doctor along uh, with their personal details. Next slide, Amar. Yes. The next one is a system architecture. So this is actually the design of system architecture. So here uh, it show you the interaction between uh, the user admin, uh, this is predictor is again one type of actor we are using here and the doctor. So all these are the actors, how they are communicate with each other is explained here in a system architecture. So system architecture here consists of a three main model again. Uh, so it's a patient, doctor and admin. Uh, so this is actually the focus. The role of actor patient is here to authenticate from the backend server. Uh, so then uh, it get permission from a database uh, to access actual information or gain the access to their profile. So here the first user uh, register, the first is register if it is a new then again it have to fill the all formalities uh, related information and then get the user id and the password so what is the role of admin in second step uh, if it is a new then it gives the uh, user id to that particular user and uh, in third step user can use their user id and password to log in or access that particular system so obviously admin in four step it responded depending on the request of user it's automatically responds to that particular user In fifth number step uh, we have to assure about uh, the registration uh, of doctor if it is already registered then again use his uh, individual user id and password to access the system and admin gives the doctor id to that particular uh, new registered doctor in six number step in seven number step first one is an input uh, symptoms here right so here the system is provided to reply from the response after this next step the doctor registration uh, is required here so uh, here uh, the user provide the symptoms here related to the illness so then database predictor analyzer is automatically analyzed as symptoms so this is predictor is nothing but the one type of actor we are using here to analyze the symptoms uh, which is provided by that particular user and it provides the uh, prescription here uh, according to the analyzing the symptoms of that uh, disease right in ninth number step 
so uh, and this is predictor actor it just provide a prescription by analyzing symptoms it gives the feedback again to the disease predictor in ninth number step it provide a prescription to the doctor right and um, uh, doctor just verify the prescription here so after receiving a prescription actually from uh, the system first doctor verified that prescription if any modification in the prescription they can easily do the changes and provide a verific verified prescription to the patients right so 10th number step is nothing but provide a verified prescription from the doctor and in 11th number uh, step is just a formal steps again the search for the doctor so the user can able to search a particular or specific doctor by requesting a message uh, this is predictor actor and the job of here this is predictor to find the nearest doctor so it provide the information to the nearest doctor uh, depending on the disease okay uh so the next one by using a database information the disease predictor will provide a doctor information to the user in a form of response and the user can easily uh, make the appointment with that specific doctor so in 14 number step uh, you can confirm your appointment here okay so this is actually the flow or the system architecture so uh, conclusion in this actually proposed system of healthcare uh, we are using a data mining technique so it improves the performance of disease prediction and provide a safety of system for avoiding uh, here the patient uh, data so here more correct uh, research is expected from this system so through some data mining technique and the algorithms are used here so which are rising rapidly in a two days date so through this it can easy uh, way for the doctor and patient to communicate with each other and the system delivers an easy and simple way to communicate with each other and will uh, obviously helpful for the all patients and uh, uh, it's uh, helpful for all hospitals also so this is actually the conclusion thank you ma'am okay thank you sir